hi guys this is mohan here today my video is about how to install windows 10 in a new computer so it's very easy so what you have to do just go to google and in google just type create windows 10 installation media and press enter and the first link on the top it says create installation media for windows and it's a support page of microsoft now what we will do we will click here now what you have to do it says create installation media for windows so now the third option from the top is windows 10 so i'm going to select this option and now what we have to do you can see create windows 10 installation media now what we have to do we have to download the tool first and then we have to run that tool so what we will do now we will click this button download tool now as we will click this button you can see that media creation tool dot exe is downloaded now i will open this file and i will double click this file to run now it's getting a few things ready we have to wait now we have to accept the terms we will click on accept button now it's asking you that what do you want to do update this pc now or create installation media usb flash drive dvd or iso file for another PC so we have to create installation media for another PC so we will select the second option and we have to make ready a USB drive USB flash drive to install so my flash drive is already inserted in my laptop now we have to click the next button and now it will ask you select language architecture and edition and on this page it says use the recommended option for this PC and yes it's already 64 bit on architecture all good so now what we will do we will select next button and choose which media to use now we have to select the first option USB flash drive it need to be at least 8 GB now we will press the next button so it's just letting you know that uh, to back up this flash drive now click next so now it's creating a media tool for windows on your flash drive so you have to wait now six percent is completed 98 percent completed 99 now verifying your download 98 percent completed so guys our usb flash drive is ready and our windows 10 installation media tool is ready it's downloaded in our flash drive now we will take that flash drive from this computer to the computer where we have to install windows 10 and we will boot our system from this flash drive so now we have to click on finish button so now we will take our flash drive out from this pc so guys windows 10 media tool is created on this flash drive so what we will do now now we will insert this usb flash drive in this pc where we have to install the windows we will turn on the pc first and then we will press the f1 key from the keyboard to get the access to bios of this pc now what we will do we have to set the bootable priority as we can boot this pc with flash drive so first we have to press so general help there's a notification we have to press ok enter to close this notification and now what we will do from the top first on the left you can see it says main so now we have to move to the startup now next is devices and then advanced then power then securities now we will go to startup now we will change the now what we will do we will change the primary boot sequence priority so we will change it from hdd to usb 
so whatever the boot priority will be there so you have to change it to usb flash drive as we can boot this pc from the flash drive so what we will do so there's the primary boot sequence we will press enter and now what we will do the next the second one usb now we will take it to first to change its priority you have to raise the plus and minus sign from the keyboard so here's the plus and minus sign so i will when i will do plus so that to that usb key will go on the top and hdd will be the second then see guys so the priority is changed now what we will do we will press the escape key from the keyboard so here the escape key and now we will exit from here so the first option on the top says save changes and exit yes we will select the first option save changes and exit i have pressed enter now it's asking me save and exit setup save configuration and exit yes i will enter again and as i will enter now this pc will boot from usb flash drive So see guys that windows setup is started now it's asking for the language to install yes english we have to click next now it says install now we will select the install now button and setup is starting now now it's asking for the product key so enter your product key and here's the product key now i will i will click next now select this box here i accept the license terms and click next so now we will select the second option custom install windows only so it's asking you where do you want to install windows so here's the primary one is partition 2 so i will select this so i will click next so it's just telling you that if the partition you have chosen contains files from a previous windows installation these files and folders will be moved to a folder named windows old so just press here yes okay now it's copying windows files installing windows getting files ready for installation so getting files ready for installation 33 percent done 98 percent done installing features installing updates so guys uh, windows needs to restart to continue click the restart button or it will be restart automatically So now again we press the F1 key as we can boot it from the HDD because we don't need this flash drive anymore. So now we'll change the boot sequence from primary boot and now we will go to primary boot sequence and change the HDD on priority and now HDD1 is the bootable drive now so now you press the escape button and go to exit and now the first option on the top it says save changes and exit i will select this option and uh, now it's asking me for the confirmation i will say yes
in just a moment. Now it's asking you, let's start with region. So whatever the location you are at, so you have to give that location. I'm in Australia, so I will give Australia and yes. And is this the right keyboard layout? Yes. And now I will select yes. And want to add a second keyboard layout? Press the skip button. Now it's let's connect to the network. So I will select don't I don't have the internet now. If you have the internet guys, you can connect internet. So I will select I don't have internet. Now there's more to discover when you connect to the internet. Continue with limited setup. So I will select the continue with limited setup. Now write your name. So here I will write my name. And now click next. Now it's asking if you want to give a password. Now I will select next. I don't want to give a password. Now choose pricing. Now click accept button. Let's Cortana help you get things done. So if you use guys Cortana, so you can accept or otherwise not now. So I don't really use Cortana. So I will select not now. So see guys, installation is completed now. Thanks guys. If you have liked my video, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching my video.